What is up, everybody, and welcome to another episode of Films with Feral. We've got a good one here today. We will be talking about the Netflix original just released maybe just a couple days ago, The Bubble. Not Bubble Boy, not Blown Bubbles, I don't know who Bubbles is, uh, but The Bubble, 2022 Judd Apatow directing. Uh, let's dive in. Welcome to Films with Feral. Enjoy the show. As always, feel free to hit that like and subscribe button. Stay up to date on all things Films with Feral. We're coming in hot and heavy with our movie reviews, our top 10s, our top 5s, our uh, screenplays, or whatever the fuck else we're cooking up there. Alright folks, getting into it, The Bubble. 2022 Netflix original movie. It just came out earlier this month, in the month of April. Uh, a lot going on here. So it is about a group of actors and actresses that are stuck inside of a pandemic bubble. Uh, trying to make a movie, right? COVID has just happened. There's about just a handful of movie sets that are still taking place. We got to get the movies out to the people, right? They got nothing else to do. We got to make the movies. Uh, so this cast and crew has quarantined uh, to shoot a movie. So it's kind of like all of the hijinks that come with that. Uh, looking at a Judd Apatow movie, right? Can't go wrong with Judd. Uh, rated R, a lot of drug sets, rock and roll. Ah! Um, so you got that going on. Looking at a runtime of about two hours and six minutes, all right? So a little bit longer um, for a comedy, especially. When we're looking at the cast, fucking star studded. Karen Gillian, Pedro Pasquale, Fred Armiston, Keegan-Michael Key, uh, David Duchovny, big fan of the show. David Duchovny, uh, you know, super fan of Films with Farrell. We have Leslie Mann, um, Iris Apatow, Judd's daughter. It's crazy to watch her go from... God, like, knocked up to being a full-grown-ass adult in this movie. Uh, but absolutely star-studded cast. So when, you know, looking at the cast, uh, you got Judd Apatow directing it. I've seen previews for this movie. It looked outstanding. Going into it, I'm like, let's go. You know, I'm going to bypass the two hours runtime, and I just want to kind of dive right into it. So the movie, it's, it's a movie inside of a movie, right? We're following the cast and crew of the uh, much-anticipated Cliff Beast 6. That's right. Not 5, not 4, not 3, not 2, not the original. We're talking about volume 6 here. So we're following uh, the cast and crew of this movie. So it's a movie inside of the movie. A nice little twist on top of the movie inside of the movie. Uh, it's a movie inside of a movie inside of a movie. Inception? Whoa. Um, so, you know, different theme right here. Um, some good cameos throughout the movie as well. I'm not going to spoil that. You guys know I'm not big on the spoilers here unless I kind of throw the spoiler alert out there. Uh, so some good cameos in there that you will see kind of pop up throughout. Uh, personally, disappointed by this movie. Uh, very disappointed, to be honest with you. This is probably one of my least favorite Judd Apatow movies I have ever actually watched. Love Judd Apatow. Right. Um, going into this, like I mentioned, I was so excited to see all of these players, uh, you know, with Judd Apatow attached to it, uh, you know, kind of like a mock on the pandemic a little bit. I thought, you know, that aspect, I thought they did a good job of kind of mocking the past couple of years uh, in terms of how it played out. Like, oh, like, hey, how do you like, oh, no, I don't have to wear a mask. I'm, I'm drinking right now. Or like, hey, you know, give me some bows or hey, you can give seductive eyes, but you can't give hugs. Um, so, you know, it played around with that a little bit, but really it, it fell flat on its ass. Um, you know, some of the times when the actors had to get re-quarantined for 14 days and things like that, um, that part was a little funny, right? It's like you're just going crazy in your single bed hotel room for 14 days. Like you start putting more paint on your face and just going crazy like a caveman. Uh, but, you know, at a certain point, it's just kind of groundhogs. It starts repeating and repeating and repeating. Um, the cast, I thought, did a great job, right? Uh, no fault to that star-studded list of actors and actresses. I thought they did their parts well. Uh, just was disappointed by the movie. Didn't really grab my attention at all. If you're going to make a two-hour movie, let's make it good, okay? And that's no disrespect to, to Judd Apatow, but holy shit, I think I paused this movie several different times just to... I don't know, the ADHD started kicking and I'm like, oh, squirrel. Um, you know, I just had to get out. It's, uh, thank God it was on Netflix. Because if it was a movie theater, I'd be running circles. I don't know, playing tic-tac-toe, who knows. But um, I really didn't care for it. Um, so, you know, on a scale, if I'm going to recommend it, guys, you know, that's up to you to decide. I'm going to give it, um, you know, I, I give it one thumb down. I, I just did not like this movie. It was too long. I did like the actress and actresses. Uh, the story itself, it, it could have been there. 
you know, you could have maybe just changed things around a little bit. Um, I just did not like this movie. So if you're looking to save two hours of your time, I don't recommend watching this movie. Uh, there's plenty of other things on streaming sites right now uh, that are getting pumped out. And it pains for me to say that. Again, love love everybody attached to this film. David Duchovny, again, big fan of the show. Uh, but, you know, in my eyes, this just isn't something that I'd really kind of invest time in. It, I, I wish it would have been something else. Well, folks, that's all the time in today's show. Quick, easy, to the point. Um, appreciate you guys stopping by. Would love to know in the comments section, am I way off base on this movie? Did you put two hours and six minutes into this movie and you are the bubble, right? You are not the bubble. Boy, this isn't Jake Gyllenhaal, but you are the bubble. Um, you know, let me know your thoughts towards this movie. Again, I just did not like it. I wanted it to be so much more. I thought based on the trailer and the people attached to it, it would be so much more. Would love to hear from you guys in the comment section below. Again, feel free to like, subscribe, comment. Uh, let's keep this train rolling. But until next time, guys. Phew.